What is up, everybody? And today, we're talking about my top five favorite fall fishing lures. What is up, everybody? And today, we're talking about my top five favorite fall fishing lures. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it with my number one absolute favorite. You guys could probably guess it already, a jerk bait. Uh, suspending jerk bait. This one is a Rapala x wrap It's just like a classic. Everyone knows about the x wrap um, Another one I love is uh, the pointer. It's, uh, the smallest size is usually my favorite. I forget the number. It's like a pointer. I don't know, I'm not gonna guess it because then I'm gonna get it wrong. But it's the smallest size and the medium size. I don't like throwing the big sizes because um, around here in the north, it's not really, you know, giant fish. You can get some six, seven, eight pounders, but, um, you know, small baits fall. It's deadly. So, suspending jerk bait, that's going to be number one. Let's put that away. Uh, number two, I like to go completely finesse, guys. I like to either throw a drop shot or a shaky head or a Ned Rig. Those are my three favorites. Also... Another one, I literally just missed it, um, is like a little tiny swim bait on a jig head, and it is deadly. A little swim bait, like three, four inch, and you just, a little paddle tail, Kai Tech, you just chuck it on a little three sixteenth ounce jig head. It can be even uh, a shaky head, and it's absolutely deadly. This one's by owner, guys. It's such a good shaky head. This is a three sixteenth ounce, I already said it. It has a little bit of rust there because it's old, and I just literally picked it out of my drawer. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to rig up a shaky head quickly, if you don't know. If you do know, just skip like 30 seconds in the video. So basically these are Robo Worms. They are my favorite, guys. I have so many packs and so many different sizes. And this is the six inch size, I'm pretty sure. I like throwing the four inch size, but um, the six inch, the six inch for a, um, I like throwing the four inch for the drop shot and the six inch for the for the shaky head. So yeah, guys, you just want to put it on right with the little screw, and you want to screw it in until the flat side is in the bottom. For aesthetic purposes, you could probably rig it however you want. Like the flat side could be up; it didn't really matter. It wouldn't really matter to the fish. Then you want to find where it goes through. Pinch it. You go right through. Just like that so it's perfectly straight there's no nicks and if you want and it's like a grassy pond you can tuck it a little bit and there you go guys that is the shaky head oh um i forgot to mention you want to throw the the jerk baits you can throw small jerk baits on spinning gear or uh light bait casting the finesse applications you can you can throw them on light bait casting but i definitely go spinning gear for any of these finesse applications that i just talked about so yeah that's number two let's get on to number three okay guys so number three Okay guys, so number three is the spinner bait. You guys might tell me, oh no, no, I'd pick a crank bait over a spinner bait. No, no. I caught my personal best early, early spring. The water temp was like 50, so cold, and I was crushing giants. I got that six pounder, which is my personal best. I was crushing threes and twos all early spring into late, late winter. Like it was like, it was crazy. Spinner baits, guys. But Usually, I won't throw them with the skirt. This is my secret. You take off the skirt and you put on a Kitek. This is a little bit beat up, as you can see, but I'm pretty sure this is the exact spinner bait that I caught my six pounder on. And it's my sister, guys, running downstairs. It's upstairs. So, just if you hear any noise, it's probably either her or my mom. But yeah, guys, this setup right here, if you want one Willow and one uh, Carolina. Or Colorado, oh, yeah, Colorado, Colorado. I literally just spaced out and said Carolina. I'm a freaking idiot, but um, yeah, I usually like to go with the gold and the silver, or both silver. That's just preference. Um, make sure you have a sticky hook, and I do not throw trailer hooks when I'm throwing a swim bait. It screws it up. I'll throw a trailer hook on a um, on a swim bait with the with the skirt, but not on one with the swim bait. 
because I just said swim bait, didn't I? Oh my god, I'm like slurring my words on a spinner bait with a skirt, not a spinner bait with a swim bait. The reason is because you want to slow roll it. You guys see all that? You guys see all that paint knocked off on the bottom? That's because I literally will grind this thing up against the rocks. It will never get hung up. It'll get hung up like one out of like a hundred cats and it usually will pop out. It's usually like because it's getting stuck either in grass or in between rocks. And you can get to another angle and pop it out. But um, yeah, you just want to bump it up against the rocks, slow rolling it, just slow, slow rolling it. And you're gonna get bit. It's usually gonna be, you know, good fish that are hitting you. So um, yeah, guys, that is number three. Let's go to number four. You guessed it, number four. Not again. Oh. Square bill crankbait. I love throwing square bills again. Um, for I already said that for uh, fall time bass. I love throwing small square bills. I mean, not that tiny, but like, you know, decent. This one's a little bit smaller. This one's a Lucky Craft. I love this thing right here, guys. But yeah, guys, uh, square bills, I shouldn't really need to explain that much. They're just all around great. You bang them up against the rocks, and you gotta get reaction strikes all year round, especially fall. Fall is a fire time to fish these. Okay, time for number five. Yep, number five is gonna be top water. When the bite is on and the sun is out and the water temp's cool and they're feeding high in the water column, a small spook like this um, little Super Spook Jr. I just said that so weird. Oh my God. This little Super Spook... This little Super Spook Jr. in a clear color uh, with feather tail. You just can't go wrong. They will absolutely crush it. This or a little popper. You just can't go wrong. Fall top water is amazing. They they destroy top water if they're on it. Um, so yeah, guys, those are my top five baits. And there's a lot of other baits I could show, obviously. And there's a lot of other baits that I'll throw in the fall. But these are like my main five. These are what I go to. So uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, please be sure to leave this a like, subscribe. And yeah, guys, comment what you want or what you want the next video idea to be in the description. I'll definitely get to your comment, 100%. I don't have many um, many comments, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.